Queen's West End, where you'll find one of the most exclusive shopping districts in the world and where any luxury brand worth its salt wants to be seen. It's some of the highest end retail with all the dizzying prices to boot. Not exactly the place to come if you're looking for a bargain. So what do you do if you have the taste for luxury, but not its cost? Factory outlets, like those found at this shopping centre in Portsmouth on the UK's south coast, sell discounted end-of-line and surplus product away from the high street. Prices can be a fraction of those found in flagship stores and a huge pull to bargain seekers who are sometimes willing to travel hundreds, even thousands of miles to pick up the deals. I think the traveller shop is very, very important for the whole luxury goods industry. Um, OK, it's important in the UK at the moment and that's partly a function of uh, currency because it's, you know, it's, it's a mobile population that is buying these things. It's not so much the local population. And I think Far Eastern consumers, particularly Chinese consumers, place a very, very high level of importance on luxury goods. They are prepared to spend a much higher proportion of their income on these products than you would find normally in the West. I mean, they're aspirational goods, they aspire to Western standards of living, they, I suppose, have a certain status. They're very, very important to them. This designer outlet store in Hackney, East London, is a travel shopper's mecca. Some 600,000 visitors drop by here each year, according to the local council. It's hoping to capitalise on the footfall by building its own outlet village and developing a cluster of high-end stores in the same area. It may not look like much, but if applications are approved, then the council hopes that this parade of disused railway arches could become a bargain magnet, attracting even more shoppers and their money to the area. Already Pringle, the Scottish luxury clothes designer, has jumped on the proposition and is redeveloping a local pub into one of its stores. Hackney Council predict a windfall of about 200 jobs to the area should the development progress. But this is one of the most deprived boroughs in the UK. Is high-end fashion really what it needs? The independent shops will be alongside those larger labels, whomever they may or may end up being in due course. And that is something that is very, very important indeed. And it's ensuring that we make that connection and that what we don't end up with is a rather sanitised high street. This is, of course, a retail outlet in that sense, but it's embedded within a very creative and dynamic community, and it is designed to embrace all of those other aspects of the fashion industry itself. Now, there is some scepticism locally about whether people will come and go and won't touch the sides, as it were. At the moment, certainly, um, the Burberry store, uh, currently people come and they spend and then they tend to leave very quickly without, um, without really going into the wider local economy. Um, so this is something they're really seeking to address. Uh, and, and, but at the moment we're seeing signs of gentrification in any case in the area and so this may happen organically in any case. But it may not be exactly what other top labels are looking for. The usually remote locations of outlet stores means that high-end brands claw back some of the exclusivity that's lost through their price drops. There are dangers in placing temptation too close to core customers. Well, I think there's two risks. One is that um, you could dilute your brand image by having queues of people outside a, an outlet, you know, being seen to be driven by bargains rather than high-end design and like l appreciation of the brand. Um, and then the other risk is that you'll just, you might halve your customers. Um, so less of a blow to the brand's image than practically less footfall in the flagship stores and people just go to the East End instead. What's good news for these brands, however, is that their appeal means they're still able to sell and even make a profit from old and surplus stock. Outlet retail may not be the business they're proudest of, but the offcuts can be a boon for Hackney and other places like it. Seb Morton-Clark, Financial Times, London.